Yes, yes, you will. So, um, so for the camera, uh, what's your name, alias that you go by on Dustloop, or? Uh, my name is Will. I go by Desi on Dustloop and SRK. Right on. Uh, so like, what got you into fighting games at first? What what really grabbed you? Um, you here? I have been playing like competitive first person shooters mostly, and then uh, I started playing fighters at work with my friends, and it's much more um, competitive shooters are. Like Counter Strike and Halo are very much team driven, mm -hmm. and like fighting games are. Well, there's two things. One, it's like one on one. Two, it's like there's a lot to learn. Like, like there's in fighting games, it's an even play field. You have your character. You're playing against another character that's basically the exact same as you. Mm -hmm. But in fighting games, you have to learn all these different matchups. There's all these different um, characters, and even within. Each character, there's all these different play styles, so you have all this variety. You kind of have, you can be more creative with how you want to play and how you want to overcome the problems for each character. Right. What was like the first fighting game that really? <coughs> um, I played Street Fighter Two when I was little, so I, I really liked Street Fighter Two, and then I got away from it for a while, and then um, Third Strike. I really liked Third Strike a lot, and then uh, Guilty Gear. Like I started getting more serious. What grabs you about? Like gear. Um, I've been playing Third Strike a lot, and Street Fighter is like fundamental basics. Um, it's and then like you're kind of limited in what you should be doing with your state, and then um, Guilty Gear is really open. It's almost like you now you have all this space in the air you can move around, which you can't do in most other fighters because you don't want to be jumping too much. But in Guilty Gear, you have so much movement in the air and blocking in the air, so you can move around. And the other thing is just that um, characters are really different in Guilty Gear. Like in Street Fighter, your characters are very pretty much similar. In Guilty Gear your characters are really different. There's a lot to learn, and every character seems like its own unique like system. They all have special things about them. And then I guess defense. You just block in Street Fighter, in Guilty Gear, and plays blue. Like you, you have instant blocks. You can FD people out. There's just more, way more deep, like technical defensive stuff. Yeah. Right, a lot more strategy. Sure. Yeah, it's it's deeper. Like Street Fighter is like you have to be really, really good at your basics, and then Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue are like you. There's so much like stuff that you have to learn, and like you could play really well and not even be good at this one thing. But then there's people that are like really good at IBing everything, and, they, and it opens up a whole different game for them. So. Yeah. And like so, what was it about Blaze Blue in particular? That really, you know, that really <coughs> stuck out. And really um, made you want to get in there. It is like similar to Guilty Gear in a lot of ways, but I think for me it was like the the characters are really unique. Their systems, like like racial controlled wind. Kune has like negative edge bugs that he controls in the air. Like Taukaka can movement in the air is like unlike any other character. So it's really just that they really made a lot of. Characters that are really unique, like unique compared to other fighters like that you've never seen before. So, right on. so yeah, it's pretty good. And then like, what you know, what kind of tournaments do you go to? And then how is that? Um, Evo or something. I've gone to Evo like two years now, and then we usually go to like Denjin sometimes for tournaments. We were going to all the West Coast tournaments uh, that were at Family Fun and Denjin. So, right on. And then like, so what? You know, what would you tell, you know, to like, some people who are new to fighters or something like that, uh, you know, what, what, would you, what kind of pointers would you give them about Blaze Blue or people that were first into Blaze Blue or something like that? Um, I would say, like, Blaze Blue is, well, for, in general in fighters you have to play a lot, and the better players you play against, the better you're going to get, but you should try not to get frustrated if you're losing a lot really early because people that have been playing fighting games a lot are going to have a big advantage because there's like natural things like fundamentals in fighting games that you're going to develop the more you play that you're they're not going to be like second nature to you when you first start playing mm -hmm. and when you play the game you're going to be losing but like try not to get frustrated like, try to try to figure out like in each situation what are they doing that that works on you that you can't count on and like figure it out like um, go in training mode and you know make the other like other character do that and try to figure out what you can do against it. Are they always doing one mix up on you? Like you have to figure out how to block it or how to get out of pressure. So just like um, you have to think about a fighting game as like 
every character you play against, they present they they present a set of problems to you, and with your character, you have to figure out what solutions you can use to get out of those problems, and then you have to learn it for like every character. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, thanks a lot for your time. Get back in there and play. Thanks.